If you're like me, you probably have challenges keeping track as your garden expanded, what you've planted, when to plant it, when it's going to come up and stuff like that. So I started a very simple spreadsheet um, a, a few months ago, which has actually morphed into something really, really useful for me. Originally, when I started, I just started looking at the Farmer's Almanac, using that as a guide as when could I when should I grow stuff? What's a good guide? Because I'd find myself out in the garden every single day. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not superstitious, but I found it gives me a lot of structure to my day. Then what I also started doing was actually looking what I'm planting and the date I planted it and when I should look to harvest. But and then plus on that, I was also so I'm not saying a lot of things here. There was also the fact of different remedies, what I was finding, keeping a track of what worked in the garden, what didn't work in the garden, what fertilizers was I using, what would be useful for Dr. Things. So it became my central document. This year, I, I, I pushed it up a notch and I wanted to increase my productivity, but I also want to keep track of my succession planning. So what I've done is combined the many spreadsheets that I had, even though it was all one document, I've combined the functionality into literally one spreadsheet. I use Google Docs because that enables me to access the same sheet wherever I am. I like to use multiple devices. Some days maybe on my phone, some days I may be on my iPad, I may be on my laptop, but everything's centralized in one location when you use Google Docs. So what I've done and here is that I'd have the first column with the product I'm going to be, sorry, the plant, what the crop is that I'm going to be planting. I also entered the day, typical days of maturity, average days of maturity from the seed packet or whatever. I look at my succession intervals. How many, how often do I want to succession plant? And these can be changed dependent on your needs or what your requirements are and how you work in your garden. But what I also wanted to know, I wanted to keep track of when do I know that you know things should have started germinating. What's the maximum date? How do I make sure I don't have a dud set of seeds? So I actually put in the maximum date of germination on average for each of these plants. And then what I've done is put in the first day of planting. So that's the first day. So let me look at say eggplant for, for instance. I plant some eggplant seeds on June the 13th. So, so I put my date in there. And that automatically populates my germination date based on the fact that I said 14 days later, this should, this should, I should see germination. And then after that, what I've said is, okay, how long does it take for me to get, you know, an eggplant? What's the average days of maturity? And that's 80. So it's telling me here around October the 15th, I should start looking to reap some harvest. You know, give or take a, a few weeks, depending on your location, where you are. But it's a nice guide to keep track of where you are at that particular point on, on your planting. Now, what I've also done is also looked at, okay, if I want a succession plan, when's my next date? So based on this, 35 days here, my succession plan, let's keep the eggplant. You can see it's 35 days, 35 days um, was my succession interval. So that gives me a date of August the 17th, where I can start looking to plant again, all being well. The germination date there be August the 31st. And I'd look to approximately harvest in November 19th. Now I live in a very warm tropical climate, so I can have a continuous planting schedule pretty much. And this spreadsheet takes me up to, um, there's my phone there, takes me up to uh, seven or eight different plantings. Now, pretty much into next year, I'm probably not gonna go that far but it does keep help me keep a track of all my different plants where I'm planting it and I can have a notes column on the end which I haven't put on yet so I might put a notes column just here um, just to make, keep a note to myself what I've done it may even expand to say you know I've done um, some fertilization or what products I've used on the plant or how I treat the plant or if I have in, any infestations but it's one central document that I can go to that will keep track of what I'm doing so that's me. I'm a bit of a spreadsheet, a bit of a spreadsheet geek. And, you know, I do like my spreadsheets. It works for me. Tell me how else do you keep track of what you're doing and how you're planting? Um, I'd love to see your spreadsheet. Maybe it's not as geeky as mine. Maybe it's even, even more geeky. But, yeah, please share. And if you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe. Keep subscribing to Caribbean Garden Life. Take care. Until next time.